what's up guys it's your boy dj soul force learning to fly fpv in my first video i started that uh to be a series it's a forum guys uh but actually it's, it's real for me i'm just learning how to how to fly fpv <laughs> a lot of you guys think because I, I review all these cool quadcopters that I, I'm an expert pilot but trust me guys my FPV flying skill sucks <laughs> thank you guys for all commenting and uh, leaving your tips your tips your tricks and your shortcuts on my channel in the comment section and, and we got it going so let's keep it going guys it's my goal to be able to fly the Bugs 3 FPV uh, one of the comments I got uh, from one of my number one subscribers, Bill Bill Somrix, he gave me a lot of a, a confidence booster too. In that video, uh, Bill said, "You're doing great," and it was a good idea that I had uh, chosen a quad that I'm very very familiar with. Like remember, I had the uh, the TX03 on the SEMA X5 here you can see I have it now mounted on on the, uh, <laughs> the the Mavic Pro wannabe and when I get ready to fly outdoor FPV uh, Bill suggested I go sit down at the picnic table that I always fly at and I'll be so familiar with my surroundings and that's pretty cool so what I did guys I I'm preparing my Bugs 3 for FPV and I'm gonna pop the canopy off real quick show you guys what I've done I I got tired of waiting for MJX to release the 5.8 gigahertz <laughs> FPV camera so remember guys the, the uh, headlight goes there uh, the headlight was mounted let's see if we could get light on this the, the headlight was mounted on those two uh, holes closest to the camera lens right there and the Bugs 3 does have this cutout on the bottom. Uh, the headlight used to fill that gap. Uh, but I wanted my TX03, I wanted my camera to, to pretty much lined up slightly just behind the nose of the quadcopter. And that would help protect my camera from crashes. Also, if you pull this TX03 too far back or to get it on level on a level surface uh, you're bound to get part of the canopy in the shot I've, I've seen videos so what I, what I did was I, I watched some of the other guys videos and every time I watch a video I like to inject my own ideas what I needed was a bridge across this gap a sturdy enough bridge that would allow me to high glue the camera and bring it up to the nose of the quadcopter it's not hard guys so guys i have this thing mounted in there almost better than with M mgx should buy this design for me <laughs> the uh, antenna fits in there with lots of room and by the way i got this idea from another one of the viewers i can't remember the name when i uh run across the comment i'll just put it on the screen <laughs> uh all you guys every, every little tip helps and that's that's what this is all about <laughs> okay so in this video you n you're not going to see me fly I, I haven't done it yet i haven't flown the bugs 3 with the goggles on yet uh these are my ishin vrd 2s the vrd2 has a dvr built in so what i did was uh to test out the placement of my camera and just to get a look and a feel for what the video will look like the day i do Strap the goggles on uh, I wanted to to preview a flight so guys uh, let's take a flight I want you guys to come fly with me I flew this line of sight but with my new modification
So what I have is my uh, TXO3 wired into the uh, that socket right there on the Bugs 3, and the TXO3 turns on automatically whenever I plug in the Bugs. I think that's a uh, that's a good next step up for a beginner flying FPV. Give me a first hand look at what I should be able to expect when I put on the goggles and take this baby out for a <laughs> This your boy DJ Soul Force. I'm out of here.